In more news, the Drug Enforcement Commission, DEC, has explained that its mandate is not only to arrest lawbreakers, but also to deter criminal activities and sensitize communities against committing crime. Speaking when 30 female DEC officers visited the Lusaka Female Correctional Center at Chimbokaila Correctional Facility, DEC Commissioner Dr. Musonda Semiai says the commission decided to spend this year's Christmas demonstrating their belief in the power of women and giving them second chances. Tito Kalama is at the source of your story. The walls are high and have barbed wire. The Lusaka Female Correctional Center at Chimbokaila, away from the main section, holds a number of women inmates. Top on the list in terms of crimes committed is getting money by false pretense, murder, child stealing and drug-related offenses, among others. Dr. Simayai, with his team, visited the prison's female section. In his speech, he encouraged the women inmates that they have not been written off from society. And we are here to recognize that you are part of society, and we want to identify ourselves with you. If you have seen the composition of the team that has come from DEC, we have 30 female officers from DEC. And deliberately, we came to a female correctional facility. What does this entail? It's a clear demonstration that we believe in a power of a woman. We believe in a power of giving a mother that second chance. On our part, Senior Superintendent and Officer in Charge, Chile Shechisanga, had this to say. A facility that is currently housing 43 female inmates and two circumstantial children. In our custody, we have two inmates with drug-related cases, and during the year 2020, we recorded 11 drug-related cases. I also wish to report to you, sir, that the year 2019, we had 28 offense, offenses related to drugs. Comparatively, 2020 has recorded less cases compared to 2019. There was pomp and dance as the women inmates danced away together with tech officers, forgetting momentarily that they were in prison. Tito Kalama, S24. Now, questions are swirling around the possibility of U.S. President Donald Trump handing out preemptive pardons to close